Hi, welcome to SBR Forum Videos. I'm Peter Loshek. This is part two of Into the Weekend with Bet DSI for November 1st. We just got finished talking about uh, college football week 10. Now we're going to take a look ahead to NFL week nine with Brent, the headlines manager at DSI. Brent, thanks for doing this call with us. Thanks for all the great uh, hard work you do to provide great information for us in these videos. Uh, the first NFL game I want to ask you about is Dallas at Atlanta. Now, I think this is probably the most controversial line of the week. Atlanta is a relatively small home favorite considering that they're undefeated and considering, you know, how much Dallas has sort of like burned their backers this year. Um, but it seems to me like the line has actually gone down. Some people are calling for more than, you know, a few people I've seen are calling for an outright win by Dallas saying this is the uh, time where Atlanta is a good fade and where Atlanta is going to lose their first game. What kind of action have you seen on this line? We've had a lot of public money on Atlanta, but we do have sharp money on Dallas plus five, Peter. Um, we got a, a lot of good, respectable money on Dallas when the line was five. Uh, nothing really at four and a half. And since we've gone to four, it's been all public money. Our dollar volume is about two to one in favor of Atlanta because of the public money. The count is about three to one. And the thing is, too, I mean, Dallas looks so bad, and, and they looked so good last weekend, too. So I think it's kind of like a teaser game for a lot of people. And Atlanta, I don't know. I, I think a lot of people just aren't aren't sold on them. Uh, they seem to give up a lot of, a lot of mileage on, on the ground. And that's, you know, a team like Dallas could probably take advantage of that. Again, Dallas, you know, last week, the way they come, came back, you know, you call it momentum or whatever. I don't know. But any, anything above four, the Sharps have been all, all over the Cowboys. Wow. So you're saying this is a pretty stark uh, public Sharp split then? Absolutely, yeah. Like I said, the count is three to one, and the sharp money, most of it was at plus five with Dallas, but plus five and four and a half. All right, well, I'm on the side of the public on this one. I don't know what that says about me, but uh, all right, there's your answer, folks. Let's move on to Philly, New Orleans, another kind of controversial game. You know, you can make a strong argument for each team, a strong argument against each team. Um, my guess is that you've gotten huge volume on this game, but my guess is that it's also been split. Actually, not a ton of volume yet. Um, what I've got so far has been sharp money plus Philadelphia. Oh, sorry, on Philadelphia plus three even money, and the, the count slightly flavors New, New Orleans, which would suggest public money. And the, the sharps have been betting Philadelphia, so my money is actually two to one in favor of Philadelphia. So right now, uh, I'm hoping that the public money drowns out the, the the money I've got on the Eagles, but I can't see that happening. We're sitting at three flat right now, and again, New Orleans sitting at two and five. They're just kind of an ugly looking team, and, and the Eagles in their own right at three and four. They're, they're kind of ugly as well. So it's one of those those games where both teams should be better than they are, but neither of them have so far. Like I said, Philadelphia plus three, even money is where the Sharps are. So hopefully we'll get some public money back on New Orleans and be rooting for Eagles by game time. Yeah, that's interesting. We actually previewed that game with a couple of handicappers in our weekly preview video, and uh, both of them liked Philly plus three. So maybe that is uh, the way to go here. All right, but before we move on, uh, you said that there was a question that you saw on SBR Forum about the Patriots game last week uh, that you thought was interesting and worth answering. What? Well, someone was asking, we took sharp money on New England minus six and a half. We had a lot of public money on New England minus seven. That was the game where they were uh, playing in England against St. Louis, which is kind of a, a dog team. And the post was wondering why, why not move to seven and a half. Mm -hmm. and, and again, it's kind of the question of, of risk. Do you want to move from six and a half across seven and take sharp money, which likely would come at plus seven and a half on St. Louis and hope the game doesn't land? Or do you just kind of kind of ride it out and hopefully you, you, you break even on enough decisions? Now, if you take a look at a regular NFL weekend, you know, that's just one game. Let's say I have the same size decision on, on five games and I win three of them. Well, we do all right, plus we make up, right. break up all the, all the parties. So it's not a case where we need to be balanced or even want to be balanced on, on every game. We want to have decisions, and we want to be on the same side as the Sharks. So that's why we, we wouldn't move to 7.5, and, and that's why we didn't move to 7.5. All right, that makes sense to me. But uh, you're talking about this game decisions here. But when I do my weekly calls with Doc from Legends, uh, he always gives the opinion that basically these game decisions are not what really matters to him. What really matters to him is teasers. Is that true? Well, it depends on your customer base. Right. I mean, okay. if, you've got, if you've got a ton of guys playing a ton of teasers and they, and they can break you, then, then yeah, that's certainly the case. If you're taking, you know, if you've got a lot of customers who are playing five, ten thousand 10,000 on teasers, then they can absolutely positively affect your day. But on a game-by-game -game basis, you still have enough decisions that, you know, that make your day, you know, make it or break your day. And I think parties even more so. And we see guys who hitting hitting a lot of parties these days. On um, the last couple, two weeks ago was one of those cases. But it's a case where you don't want to balance every game. You want to have your decisions. You want to make your juice. And really, on, on the parties, I think the parties are what kind of make your weekend, and the teasers can break your weekend. Hmm. All right. Okay. Uh, this weekend coming up, are there any teasers that you're a little bit afraid of that you're getting a, a lot of uh, public action on, and if they hit, you're going to have big losses? 
Well, the teaser specials are, are the Thursday night game. Of course, uh, mm-hmm. people are taking San Diego, teasing that. You know, if you do a seven-point teaser, you tease it down to a half or six and a half. San Diego minus one. Kansas City has looked just awful. Um, we've got a lot of teaser money on Green Bay right now. A lot of teaser money at Houston, of course. And actually, Chicago is a big teaser team. Um, actually, the, the Arizona Green Bay game is an interesting. One is that's a, a stark sharp public split and that we have sharp money taking Arizona plus 10 and a half and plus 11 and the public is all over Green Bay. Our count is about 8 to 1 in favor of Green Bay but right now our dollar volume is 2 to 1 in favor of Arizona wow. because, because we've taken big sharp bets on the dog there. Uh, Buffalo is another case like that. Uh, Buffalo plus 10 and a half definitely a sharp side. A lot of, lot of sharps like Buffalo this weekend and again the count is 10 to 1 in favor of Houston so that gives you an idea of that one. Just a ton of a ton of public money all over Houston, all over Green Bay. Sharps are taking the double-digit dogs there in Arizona and Buffalo. Wow. Another one, too, which is a good split, is um, Sharps on Cincinnati at home to Denver. Of course, you would expect Denver to be a, a public side, but the count is about 6-1 to one in favor of the Broncos. The money is very close, but I do have Sharp money on Cincinnati, plus 4 and plus 3.5. We're still at 3.5 right now just because the public continues to lay it. Really? So the Sharps are, so the public's on Denver, but the Sharps are on Cincinnati, huh? All right. Well, I previewed that game with Stephen O from AccuScore.com, and he told me that uh, he likes Denver. So with all due respect, I'm taking Denver. <laughs> all right, Peter. Uh, one last one I, I want to mention is the Carolina-Washington over. There's a ton of public money on the over in that game. You kind of, with, uh, with Newton and RG3 going against each other, um, we're sitting at 47 right now. It took a lot of money, 46, 46 and a half over. I've got nothing on the under as of yet. All right, great. Well, thanks so much once again, Brent, Headlines Manager from DSI. Thanks for doing all this great work, and we'll talk to you again next week.